In this video, I'll walk you through the simplest way to get your site connected and approved for AdSense so you can put ads on your website and start making money from them. AdSense is a Google service that allows you to turn your website traffic into revenue by displaying relevant ads on your site. But before those ads can appear, your site needs to go through an approval process. And before your site can be approved, it needs to be connected to AdSense. I'll guide you step-by-step step through that process, from signing up for an AdSense account to adding your site and then connecting your site to AdSense through the free site kit plugin for WordPress. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is sign up for an AdSense account. So you're gonna wanna go to adsense.google.com. I also have that link in the description for you. And then when you're here, click sign up. You do need a Google account for this, but you need a Google account for a lot of things for your business, so you should have one already. So go ahead and sign in with your account and then click next. And then when you get to the screen, you can put in your website here, or you can put in, I don't have a site yet, which I'm gonna do because I'm gonna show you how to add a site after we signed up. Next, you can choose about how much emails you want from them. I'm gonna put no. And then for your payment country or territory, go ahead and choose that. I am in the United States, so I am going to pick that. And then you're going to have to read and agree to the terms and conditions, and then click, I have read and accepted the agreement, and then click start using AdSense. Now my AdSense account is going to look a little different than yours because first of all, I have AdSense with my YouTube channel already and I have been approved for a different site before. So this is kind of what it looks like when you get approved for a site. I didn't do anything with this site, which is why it's zeros everywhere. So hopefully after you get approved and you have it connected with your site, this will say lots and lots of money. So before we add in your site, let's talk about how you're going to get approved for AdSense. So there are no traffic requirements, but you do need to have a good site. And what does a good site mean? Well, you should have your own unique and interesting content. You have to have high quality original content and you have to be attracting some sort of audience with it. You also have to comply with the AdSense program policies and you have to be at least 18 years old. I've also heard a lot of people say you won't get approved if you don't have a privacy policy, terms of service, and a cookie policy on your site. Um, so you should put those on and those are good to have anyway. If you don't have that yet, I use a service called Termageddon and I actually have a video about them. So I will include a link to get Termageddon if you're interested and the video tutorial. Uh, what that is, is it's an auto updating privacy policy. So you can just fill in your information and then you just embed the code on your site and you don't have to worry about it. So after you're confident that your site is ready to be approved, we're going to want to add it to AdSense. So to do that, we're going to click sites on the left hand side here, and then we're going to click this new site button. So click that. And now it's asking for your website. So I'm just going to put in my URL and then click save. Now, if you wanted to, you can do any of these things to verify ownership of your site. But like I said, we're going to make things as easy as possible in this video. So we're gonna use a plugin from Google called SiteKit to verify your site instead. And that way you don't have to mess with any code. Plus you can use SiteKit for a bunch of other things too. So go ahead and sign into your website backend and then go to plugins, add new plugin. Type in site kit up there, and then it should show up right here. It will be by Google, and then you wanna click install now. Then when that's done installing, click activate, and then you should have this pop up up here. So go ahead and click start setup. And you can choose to connect Google Analytics through this plugin also if you wanted to. I currently have it with another plugin, so I'm gonna leave this unchecked, but if you want to check it, you can do that. I am going to check to allow sharing with anonymous usage data because I'm always happy when Google gets better. And then I'm gonna click sign in with Google. Then sign in to the account that you use to create your AdSense account. Click continue to allow the permissions. 
And I'm going to choose select all here, and then I'm going to click continue. Next, you're going to verify Google site ownership. So I'm going to click verify. And then I'm going to click allow so we can see the Google metrics in your website dashboard. And then I'm going to click set up. And then that happens very quickly. So then I'm going to click go to my dashboard. And then to connect to AdSense, you're going to want to click this monetization button on the right. And then it will bring you here to this AdSense section. And then you can click connect now. Choose that same Google account you chose before, the same one you set up AdSense with. Click continue again. Click continue again to allow access again. And now we have this notice that says your site requires review, which is not a surprise. We knew we still had to be reviewed. So now we're going to click request review in AdSense. So then we can click into your website and then you could click here. I've placed the code and then click verify. And you should get this little confirmation message that says your site is verified and then you want to click next. And now finally you can click the request review button. And after you do that, you're going to have this pop up that is talking about, do you want to create a consent message for your sites? Now, like I said earlier, this is something that you can do in Termageddon and it is a good idea to do before you even submit your site. But if you haven't done that, you can do it through Google. Or if you have done it through another company, you can go ahead and choose that you've adopted an alternative uh, CMP. And if you're unsure if the one you picked is certified and good, you can click that link. And then when you do, you'll get to this page and you can scroll down. And if this isn't open, you can open up to see the certified CMPs and make sure yours is on that list. And then you're done with that. You can go ahead and click submit. And that's it. Now you know how to sign up for AdSense, add your site into AdSense, and then connect your website to AdSense. Now all you have to do is wait to be approved. It usually takes just a few days, but it can take from two to four weeks. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, check my description for your free download of my nine step website roadmap to DIY your first website. It will walk you through everything you need to know to get your site live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.